evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Vashon Brown. Sandals Resort's Deputy Chairman Adam Stewart is criticizing policymakers for failing to adequately support Jamaican entrepreneurs in the tourism supply chain. He argues there should be more protection for local suppliers. Supply chain side, I think Jamaica's policy needs to do a better job for inclusion of the Jamaican uh, entrepreneurial class and for those who want to get in there, meaning I actually believe that there are pieces of the industry that there should be barriers to entry for foreign investment because the capital is here in Jamaica, the entrepreneurial class is here in Jamaica, and I think if you don't ask of someone, then it is unlikely because it's inconvenient, right? If he says suppliers who are far removed from the local environment tend to be dispassionate towards the local economy and therefore more likely to make decisions which do not benefit local development. And they have 100 hotels around the world. They're not so concerned for the farmer in Jamaica the way that, you know, my hotels use 96% of our produce is picked within, grown locally, picked within 24 hours, farm to table. Uh, but it takes, it takes effort. And I think that we can bridge a huge gap. Um, so that doesn't even get to COVID. That's just how things should be because, you know, it's 2019, 2020. Consumer prices moved at a rate of 0.6% in November. That's according to the latest inflation data released by the Statistical Institute of Jamaica Statin. The movement was mainly driven by higher agricultural prices resulting from adverse weather conditions. Higher electricity rates also supported the upward movement during the month. That brings the inflation rate to 4.3%, which is within the Bank of Jamaica's target range of between, of between 4 to 6%. Currency trading ended today with the U.S. dollar selling for $144.01. The Canadian dollar sold for $113.66. The pound is going for $194.88, while the euro closed at $178.47. The JC index lost 370 points today, while the junior market index gained 25 points. Among the winners were stationery and office supplies, CNWJ Cooperative Credit Union Deferred Shares, Salada Foods, G West Corporation, and MPC Caribbean Clean Energy. On the losing side were JMB Group 7.5%, Sterling Investments US dollar shares, JMB Group 7.25%, CAC 2000 9.5%, and Mayberry Investments. And that's the Business Day. I'm Vashan Brown. Good evening.